Well, it's the morning of my third day here in Capitol Reef National Park. This morning when I was making coffee, my water had a little bit of ice in it. So my guess is it got every bit as cold as they were threatening last night on the forecast. And the display in the Forerunner this morning was showing 19 degrees. So one degree warmer than yesterday. Okay for that. Uh, this morning brings me to the Capitol Gorge area, I believe. Um, but at the moment, I am stopped off the side of the road on a little pull-off, just watching the sun come up and seeing humble light. Runs down the side of the big buttes here that are the main feature of Capitol Reef. I even saw a little bit of a rainbow in the sky. That was kind of an interesting phenomenon. There's some really great grand vista views here. I just don't know if it really makes for a composition. Uh, I'm sure you could. Uh, it's just not what I'm kind of going for, so. But I am kind of scoping it out and checking it out. It's a good place to stop and stay warm in the truck too and drink some coffee. There's some high clouds in the sky. I'm a little disappointed to see that because that wasn't on a forecast, but maybe by the time I find a composition and get set up, it'll start to burn off. That's my hope. But for now, I'm gonna drink some coffee, stay warm, and eat some breakfast. Those of you that are savvy may have noticed that uh, my low tire pressure indicator lights on on my dash. Well, I'll have you know that I had a dream last night that all four of my tires are flat. <laughs> well, I'm just kind of cruising uh, Capitol Gorge right now, checking it out. It looks, you know, it's really pretty in some spots. The, the light hasn't quite got high enough to reach the spot that I needed to hit in order to light up my composition I'm waiting for. So. I'm just kind of cruising it, checking it out, and I'm gonna start heading back and watch and see if it's even, see if it even looks like it's likely to happen. Um, I don't wanna sit on the composition all day if it's never even gonna light up, so. But we'll see, I'm gonna head back there and check it out. With any luck, um, it will within the next couple hours. Yesterday it took me a couple hours to get that shot too, so. It takes me all morning to get this one, that's fine. I often wonder though, your your friends and family always tell you when you go on these on trips, you know, take lots of photos. Always wonder what they think when I go for four days and come back with two photographs. Well, I definitely got some light reflected into my scene I'm trying to shoot. So I am walking up to get my tripod set up and get this framed. Looks like I got a little bit of time yet. This glow should last quite a while and it's not quite at peak it looks like so it's about the perfect time to get set up and get in get in place. Well, you can probably see behind me this light source wall I'm trying to use is almost in complete full sunlight right now. Um, but I'm kind of getting thwarted by some high clouds still. Um, basically they act like a big soft box and mute the direct sun rays that are hitting this wall back here. So when it reflects into my scene that I'm trying to shoot, it looks a little dull and muted and not quite as strong of a glow, which of course isn't ideal, but um, it's nice and blue around it. It's just right where the sun is, it's a little bit of high cloud. So I'm gonna sit on this and wait it out. I'm pretty hopeful that they might move out of the way and give me some direct sunlight to work with here. But I have settled on a composition. Um, couple challenges here but so far I mean I think it frames pretty well there's this big rock that I'm trying to use to anchor the foreground of my shot and I think it works pretty well and then there's some really nice soft delicate grasses in the front that I got to try to make sure I get nice and sharp and then of course there's a little bit of distance between that and the wall in the background and the tree that I'm using as my main subject so as per usual this would be focus stack to try to get everything nice and sharp um, I had to get the long lens out I'm using a 70 to 200 right now um, just because there's a there's a few things I'm trying to eliminate from the shot this big arc right here and just get the back wall with the desert varnish stripes and then of course the tree that I'm using is my main subject well we're getting there but the high cloud still just a little bit left and I'm waiting to move out. So I left my camera in place. Um, 
got a little bit of time, so I came back to the truck to get my coffee and grab a snack and uh, wait it out some more. But it is improving. Um, I've shot it a couple times, just test shots. Maybe they're not the perfect shot just yet, but each time uh, on my light meter, I've got more and more lightness and I've had to turn my shutter speed up a little more from one over eight to one over 10. And so it's, it's, it's getting there. Uh, the rest of this canyon's looking pretty good. But I don't have any other shots planned in this canyon for today. So after this one, I'm gonna have to scope some more out and I might take that uh, hike down to the Pioneer Register and see what that looks like. Um, there's some petroglyphs in this park too that'd be cool to check out. I haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. But between today and tomorrow, I think we'll have plenty of opportunities to do that and a couple more hikes, so. Well, this is a frustrating bit about landscape photography. I can't just ask my subject to move or, you know, change the lighting or something like maybe a portrait photographer would. All I can do is sit here and wait. Now the sun's high enough and with the canyon on the other side blocking the sun a little bit, I've lost my light source on the wall back here. So even if I get direct sunlight with no high clouds, um, I'm not so sure that's going to be the best light. So. Well, I sat on that competition for a couple hours and the clouds just didn't want to work with me, so I shot it a few times, um, but now I packed it up and I guess I get another chance to do this tomorrow. Um, if it doesn't work out, then at least I got something today. But for now, I think I'm going to wrap it up and go do a couple hikes. Um, hopefully there's still parking. That's one of the challenges I was dealing with too, is it's just kind of on one of these main roads. And I was actually shooting over the road into my composition. Um, and now it's getting late enough in the day and getting so much traffic, it's just kicking dust up. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. See what happens in the morning and see if we get another crack at this or not. And, or maybe I'll find something better. But we'll, we'll make that decision in the morning. So. Quite possibly just my opinion, but Grand Wash is great and all, but I definitely think Capitol Gorge is a lot more pretty. A little longer too. There's a, uh, although it looks like it's, you know, it's it's beautiful, but it's difficult to work. It's, it's surprising how tough it's been so far coming up with compositions. I think it's interesting. I'm at the Pioneer Registry Wall, where all the pioneers that were trying to find their way through the canyon here scratched their names, and some of them put dates up on the wall. I can see 1897 or 1887, 1883. I'm sure there's even some that are older than that that I can't see. crazy. These people are trying to cross through the Slot Canyon basically on cover wagons. Yeah, I don't want to be one of them. thousand-year-old graffiti or well, that's what they'd call it today I 
my guess. And I climbed the back of that rock. Propelled down from there. And the guy was right-handed. Well, I ran up this hill. It's actually just right up off the campground. That's where I'm camping. There's a couple hikes up here, but uh, I ran up here trying to get in place for sundown to try to get a shot of the big buttes here. Um, but I'm my hair late, so I probably have maybe a couple minutes of remaining light left on the buttes before it's all gone. Um, it was lit really well when I started, but even the amount of time it took me just to run up here, it was already disappearing fast so rather than sit and wrestle with the tripod I think I'm just gonna enjoy the show yeah it's a good one too there's the most ridiculously gorgeous just earth shadow pink glow going on with the mountains in the background and the capital reef sign in the foreground check this out it's been a pretty good day I think that wraps up the day for me. Um, kind of the same thing, it sun's down and it's time to make some food and crawl in the sleeping bag. Probably watch some silly videos on the phone again until I pass out, so see you in the morning.